यू गाइस दिस इज ड्रामे पास एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बेल सीरीज हिंटिंग एट पॉलीएमरी पॉलीएमरी इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ रोमांटिक रिलेशनशिप विद मोर देन वन पार्टनर एट द सेम टाइम विद द इनफॉर्म कंसेंट ऑफ ऑल पार्टनर्स इन्वॉल्व्ड दिस वीडियो कंटेन सीरीज दैट रेंजेस फ्रॉम पॉली टू कैन बी इंटरप्रेटेड एज पॉली फ्यू बेल इन दिस लिस्ट आर जस्ट लव ट्रायंगल विद अ वेरी सटल हिंट एट पॉलीएमरी इफ आई मिस्ड सम सीरीज देन प्लीज कमेंट डाउन टू लेट मी नो सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड share my channel for more content like this now i want both you guys more so let's get started three will be free Neo is a stripper who is running away from the loan shark Thana and his gang. After having an affair with Thana's wife Vanika, one day the criminals find him in the bar where he works. In attempt to escape, he ends up bumping into two people who will change his life. Shin, a gay boy, the son of Thana, who is frustrated at being rejected by a friend, and Mew, the manager of the Gogo bar who is running away from the past. Accidentally, they end up killing one of the gang members who was chasing Neo, which makes them enemies of the gang. Now all three needs to find a solution to escape from this situation together while at the same time managing the physical and sentimental attraction that arises between them. I enjoyed it. It took me a while to continue it. Once I started not for any real reason though. I mean that first episode was bad shit so I expected the rest to be boring but it kind of was not. Definitely worth a watch. I love Shin so much he deserves the award. I was happy to see Tae in a role so much different than his usual roles. It really shows his range as an actor. I love this. Deep Night Kemtes is the beloved son of Madam Freya, the owner of Deep Night Club, the top host in the country. Its stunning acrobatic shows differentiate them from any other. Kemtes is fascinated by the top tier host Vela. Getting closer however brings about obstacles. They are not the only ones bringing color to the club. They are joined by Seiji, Ken, Great, DJ James and Sunny Wait of Japan. I went into Deep Night fully expecting to find something cheap and surface level that would make me cringe and regret hitting play. But Deep Night is a series that succeeds in bringing beautiful and charismatic actors, an interesting plot, and excellent kiss scenes. I like the story and the potential it has, but it's all thrown in here. It's an easy series to watch, and the characters are great. Overall, I like the series. My mate match. My Mate Match is a light-hearted Thai bill series about three strangers who move into the same house. The protagonist posts an ad to find a roommate, but he accidentally accepts two candidates for the same position. A friendly rivalry and a love triangle forms as the characters compete to win the host's affection. My Mate Match is a perky romantic comedy with enthusiastic joke and entertaining scenarios. While it does not meet top tier BL standards, the quality is decent enough and seems acceptable for something casual. Line TV and Star Hunter got together and gave us what looked to be a poly romance but ended up as a love triangle with a very graceful exit from the second lead. You will have to watch the series from unofficial source cause the official source has been shut down. Wheels and Axel Manami is a female student who hates her wealthy family because they are fake. She meets Jun, a wealthy gay man in Kabuki show Shinjuku. They go to a male host club together and begin to share a host guy called Seiya. Japanese movie Wheel and Axel is released in domestic theaters only. There is no word yet on an international release or fan subbing, but this has been released on Japanese streaming services. I am waiting for this one to be released for international fans too. Between complete and incomplete. 
दे से दैट इंटीमेसी इज नेचुरल इन अ लविंग रिलेशनशिप बट मेनो डज नॉट इवन लाइक टू बी टच सडनली ही स्टार्ट टू थिंक दैट ही इज द रीजन फॉर द डिस्टेंस इन स्ट्रपल विद सुन एंड क्यूते He loves them both but he can't speak their intimate language will they be able to complete their love Interesting and novel it's probably the first Korean film i've seen that manages to address both asexuality and polyamory together The whole thing is a bit short and there is still a lot left unexplored. There are complex characters, they all played excellent. There were moments when I could not stop smiling. The concept of asexuality is something new for me. It made me realize that there are people different from me and I can hurt them without even knowing. Just expressing my love. Very interesting movie. Well done. Me, my husband and my husband's boyfriend. Me, my husband and my husband's boyfriend is a Japanese BL series about a picture perfect marriage falling apart. The female lead character enjoys blissful matrimony with a sweet sensitive husband. However, she feels discontent about their passionless life. The protagonist does not know her husband is secretly dating a younger man. Discovering their affair shatters her view on love, intimacy and happiness. Me my husband and my husband's boyfriend challenges the notion of conventional romances. Society makes us believe a traditional relationship should be between one man and one woman. This BL drama represent an alternative version of love which does not fit into the predetermined marital structure. Although the story begins with a sleazy affair, this series explores the complexities of attraction and polyamory. Eventually the characters discover they can be fulfilled without conforming to societal norms. Me my husband and my husband's boyfriend has a happy ending for the characters they find a way to make their relationship dynamic work even though the arrangement may seem unusual Saneha story season 4 Nikki begins a new life when he comes out as gay it opens up many new opportunities for him and gives him a chance to find love again but his life must also bring him problems and he is forced again to make a choice between being true to himself and living up to the expectations of his family You don't need to watch season 1, 2 and 3 before watching season 4 to understand the series because the stories are not connected to my knowledge. I haven't watched season 1, 2 and 3 so you guys will have to find the connection on your own. The seriousness of this series is not for me but I know there are people who likes it. The script does not help either even though it's something based on a true story the writing and dialogues are just dreadful. Bluster and Earth are here so at least they tried to save this mess. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.